At least 900 people have died and 2,600 others have been injured in Israel after the militant group Hamas launched an unprecedented incursion from air, land and sea on Saturday. Israeli authorities said. Hamas fired thousands of rockets toward Israel and an estimated 1,000 fighters crossed into the country from the neighboring Gaza Strip. Israeli officials said at least 100 civilians and soldiers have been taken hostage. The Israel Defense Forces has since declared a state of alert for war and launched retaliatory airstrikes on Gaza, a 140-square-mile territory where 2 million Palestinians have lived under a blockade imposed by neighboring Israel and Egypt since Hamas seized power in 2007. Palestinian authorities say at least 900 died and another 4,500 were wounded in Gaza since Saturday. Unlike Israel, the Gaza Strip has no air raid sirens or bomb shelters. U.S. intelligence did not see anything that suggested an attack of this type was going to unfold in Israel, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said Tuesday. Sullivan wouldn't tell reporters if President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu discussed on their Tuesday call the possibility of an Israeli ground incursion into Gaza and how that might affect American hostages. Sullivan did defend Israel's targeting of Hamas sites in Gaza after being asked how long the US would support the airstrikes, saying this is not retaliation. But instead it's Israel standing up to defend itself. Sullivan also said that at this point, there is no plan for the US to put American troops on the ground to help Israel. He added, the president was very clear today that we will be making a request to the Congress, and it will include a request for funding for support to Israel. And he has also been equally clear that we are going to renew our request to the Congress for aid to Ukraine. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, in his conversation with President Joe Biden on Tuesday, he called Hamas' attack on Israel barbarism that has not been seen since the Holocaust. Hundreds of people were slaughtered, including soldiers whose heads were cut off, Netanyahu said. Entire families were murdered in their beds and homes, women were brutally raped and murdered. And, more than a hundred were kidnapped, including children, he said. Netanyahu said he told Biden that Hamas is worse than ISIS and that they should be treated that way. Minister of Defense Yoav Gallant said Israeli soldiers have gained control of Israel's southern border and are now moving on to a full-scale response. Anyone who decapitates citizens or murders women and Holocaust survivors will be eliminated. We will use all our force, Gallant said. To the soldiers, Gallant said, we have full confidence in you. It is thanks to the IDF that Israel exists. The IDF said Israeli soldiers exchanged gunfire with terrorists in the Ashkelon industrial area in the last hour, killing at least three terrorists. The United States is tracking about 20 Americans who are still missing in Israel. State Department spokesperson Matt Miller said Tuesday. Miller said that doesn't necessarily mean they are being held by Hamas. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will visit Israel this week to work with Israeli partners directly to determine how we can continue to best support them. Miller said. Blinken will most likely leave on Wednesday to arrive in Israel on Thursday, he said. Biden has not spoken with the families of the 14 Americans killed in Israel. But the State Department has been in constant contact with their families, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said Tuesday. The president has been making this his highest priority as he receives briefings each day about what we are doing to try to determine both what's happening with the missing and also to ensure that we can secure the bodies of those that have perished and ensure that they get returned to their loved ones. He said. 
The death toll has been mounting on both sides since Hamas, the militant group that rules the Gaza Strip, launched an unprecedented incursion into Israel over the weekend, prompting Israeli forces to retaliate. In Israel, more than 900 people have died and 2,600 others have been injured since Saturday, according to the latest numbers from Israeli authorities. In Gaza, at least 900 have died among them 260 children and 230 women and another 4,500 have been wounded since Saturday, according to the latest numbers from Palestinian officials. American Airlines said it will suspend flights to and from Tel Aviv through December 4. Delta suspended flights to and from Tel Aviv until the end of October, while United said its flights to and from Tel Aviv are suspended until conditions allow them to resume. President Joe Biden said to stay in an address to the American people, we stand with Israel. And we will make sure Israel has what it needs to take care of its citizens defend itself and respond to this attack. Biden stressed, Hamas does not stand for the Palestinian people's right to dignity and self-determination. Their state of purpose is the annihilation of the state of Israel on the murder of Jewish people. They use Palestinian civilians as human shields. Hamas offers nothing but terror and bloodshed with no regard to who pays the price. Biden say among the horrors were parents butchered, using their bodies to try to protect their children. Stomach churning reports of being babies being killed. Entire families slain. Women raped, assaulted, paraded as trophies. There's still so many families desperately waiting to hear the fate of their loved ones not knowing if they're alive or dead or hostages, Biden said. Infants in their mother's arms. Grandparents in wheelchairs, Holocaust survivors abducted and held hostage. Hostages whom Hamas has now threatened to execute in violation of every code of human morality. It's abhorrent, Biden said, adding that Hamas brutality brings to mind the worst rampages of ISIS. This is terrorism. But sadly, for the Jewish people, it's not new. Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu earlier in the day. Biden said, we are surging additional military assistance, including ammunition and interceptors, to replenish Iron Dome. We are going to make sure that Israel does not run out of these critical assets to defend its cities and its citizens. My administration has consulted closely with Congress throughout this crisis, and when Congress returns, we are going to ask them to take urgent action to fund the national security requirements of our critical partners. This is a moment for the United States to come together to grieve with those who are mourning, Biden said, adding, there is no place for hate in America not against Jews, not against Muslims, not against anybody. At least 14 Americans have been killed in the Hamas terrorist attacks in Israel, President Joe Biden said Tuesday in an address to the American people. Biden confirmed that American citizens are among those being held by Hamas. He said he's directed his team to share intelligence and deploy additional experts from across the United States government to consult with and advise Israeli counterparts on hostage recovery efforts. The families of 155 Israeli soldiers have received death notices so far, the Israel Defense Forces said. The U.S. has started reaching out to the families of Americans missing in Israel as part of its efforts to identify the U. S. citizens who may be among the hostages taken to Gaza by Hamas, according to an official. But due to the dynamic situation and lack of visibility inside Gaza, the U.S. still can't say how many may be detained. There's also a level of reluctance from U.S. officials 
to shine a spotlight on any Americans among the hostages for fear that they might be singled out by their Hamas captors. Other sources said American officials are working the phones with allies in the Middle East who have leverage over Hamas, encouraging them to pressure the militants to free the hostages.